Hey folks, how y'all doing? Today we're we'll building a wind turbine bracket, a wind turbine tower, a uh, tilt system. And this is a, I'm using 3x3 three by, three by quarter inch angle, galvanized. That's just what I've got. And I'm, you can either make a wind turbine tower or either a flagpole. Uh, I'm making a flagpole for my dad. Father's Day. Alright y'all. I got my some my I'm gonna cut, cut these pieces in half. Right here, I'm gonna use a cutting wheel. Right here. And we'll, I'll come back and I'll show you the process I'm going through. Alright. Be back shortly. Be back shortly. Okay, y'all, we're gonna be cutting our piece in half. Down below there, I got my uh, other pieces I'm gonna add to the bottom of this. This is the top right here. And as I got marked, that's where my holes are gonna go for my, my pullout pin, my center pivoting bolt, and that G marks where it's gonna hit the ground or where the where the top of the concrete can go once it hits in the ground. And right here, center, that's my center line. That's where I'm gonna cut, cut that piece right there. And as you see, that's the ground, where that's ground level mark is gonna go for the, the, the tower, the, um, the flagpole slash wind turbine tower. And that's where my hose are gonna go. All right, y'all, I'm gonna cut this with the cutting wheel. And I'll stand back and enjoy. Right. I always wear hair protection, and the only thing I don't have on here that's safe, I don't have a grinding uh, guard on here. Don't try this at home. I've uh, been a boil maker for years. This is what I use. It's a six inch cutting wheel, a top of it, with an old block and decker professional grinder. Alright, cut this galvanized. Three by three by quarter inch angle. Let's cut right here. I know, I saw you too. 
I'm talking to my little, my neighbor girl. <laughs> one of my neighbor's uh, grandchild. Making a video. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm making a video cutting this. But, uh, yeah, she's, she, yeah, today's her last day of school. Center puncher holes. Alright. Right here. Right there. Alright. Put this away. As you notice right there, I'll show you. Uh, center punch the holes. Now I'm getting a pre-drill with a small bit. All right. Okie dokie. Let me get my other seat clamp on here. I got both pieces together, C-clamp, so they won't move so I get matching holes. On both pieces that is. I'll line this up a little better. Now we're going to drill our holes, okay y'all? Alright, here we go. Helps if I plug it in. Plenty 
a lube on that uh, drill bit to keep it cool. So it cut better. Both holes, I mean both pieces of steel. So I'm going through about a half inch of, of, of steel. All right, we'll come back when I get the bigger holes done. Okay, y'all. All right, be back. Okay, y'all. Now we're going back with the bigger bit. A half, a half inch is what size I want and a good size for the pole. I'm using a two inch pole. Alright, I'll make this short and painless as possible. Okay. I'll do the other one the same. I'll do the other one the same. And uh there we go. See where I hit my my, my uh sawhorse to the wood coming through. Alright, now we'll come back. Alright. 